This is InShort 2.0. You are watching InShort 2.0, where we bring you in-depth analysis on defense and current affairs. Today, we'll discuss a major question. Can Turkey's T-129 attack helicopter make a comeback in the Pakistan Army's fleet? And if not, what's Pakistan's next move? Let's break it down. Pakistan had planned to purchase 36 Turkish T-129 attack helicopters in a multi-billion dollar deal. However, the biggest hurdle in this deal was the engine. T-129 uses American-made engines, and when the U.S. blocked their export, the entire deal fell apart. This meant Pakistan never received these helicopters, and later, the DGISPR officially confirmed that Pakistan had moved on from this deal. Pakistan's New Strategy when the T-129 was no longer an option, Pakistan immediately started looking for alternatives. One of the options was the Chinese Z-10 attack helicopter. Initially, in 2014, Pakistan tested the first version of the Z-10, but it did not meet the Army's operational requirements. However, China made significant improvements, incorporating feedback from Pakistani pilots, and introduced the Z-10ME variant. Pakistan rigorously tested this new version in harsh environments including Balakistan and Cholistan, and finally found it suitable for its needs. As a result, Pakistan has now signed a deal for the Z-10ME, and production has already begun. Is T-129 still an option? Now, a new question arises. Can the Turkish T-129 re-enter Pakistan's list of options? Recently, Turkey has developed its own TS-100 engine, eliminating its dependency on the American engine. This is seen as a game-changer in Turkish defense circles. However, the reality is that Pakistan has already committed to the Z-10ME, and reversing this decision seems unlikely. Pakistan-Turkey's New Defense Cooperation Even if the T-129 deal is off the table, Pakistan and Turkey have moved forward with a new collaboration, ATAC-2 attack helicopters. This means that in the future, Pakistan might co-produce Turkish heavy attack helicopters significantly strengthening its defense capabilities. In short, the return of T-129 to the Pakistan Army seems highly unlikely since the Z-10ME has already been selected. However, Pakistan's partnership with Turkey in the ATAK-2 project opens up new opportunities, potentially paving the way for local helicopter production in Pakistan. What do you think? Should Pakistan reconsider the T-129, or is the Z-10ME the better choice? Let us know in the comments. Until next time, Allah Hafiz.